Well, hello, Virgo. Let me share it straight. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Virgo, we're going to go ahead and get started with your reading. Start with some oracles. Let's see. This is for the Virgo. 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 We got a few. We actually got a, we, we got a few cards that I'm probably going to use. Here you have Passage. I see traveling. I see traveling in your future here, Virgo. I do. I see compassion and endings. Hmm. Endings don't have to be a bad thing, right? Like, we'll see in a tarot what this means. Um... I do know that there's going to be changes with your home for some of you, changes with your jobs. Um, yeah, <clears throat> and we have seen endings in certain kind of relationships. It doesn't have to be like one, one in particular. It doesn't mean that it's always romantic. It could be friendships, platonic relationships. Um, but we'll see in a tarot. But remember, it's telling us what you're going to experience with these cards. Compassion, I really like that energy. I really do. I feel like this is people having compassion on you or it is it is being um, displayed, presented, or it's, you know, being sent your way, okay? Compassion doesn't, you know, doesn't have to be um, even with anyone else. This could be for yourself, how you... Uh, feel about yourself, how you view your life, your situation, um, being a little, being gentle with you, having compassion for yourself here, Virgo. Uh, so yeah, we'll see what this means, okay? But definitely with this passage card, yeah, this this is like, this is total, like totally traveling, moving, traveling overseas, that type of thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, this is for Virgo. Let's see what comes out here for Virgo. Virgo. Okay. I don't want to take all of that. I don't, I don't take it. Oh, you got change for the better at the bottom of the deck. I literally was not even paying attention where I stopped. I did not. Um, you have two caterpillars here, or two butterfly-ish. Well, it's like one is in a cocoon, right? And then the other one is free. <laughs> so I, I, I would say I'll put this here because this is where you could be now and where you're going. Um, because it says things will not always be this way. A change is coming. And then that change is for the better with the butterfly at the bottom of the deck. Okay. You know, when you look at the caterpillar, I always say that the caterpillar feels like you know, no one pays attention to it. And I don't even remember the last time I've seen one. Like, I, I literally thought about that the last time I pulled that car for someone. I don't even remember the last time I've seen a caterpillar, right? And it's it's we know that they're out there because I've seen butterflies, but I haven't seen caterpillars. So I feel like that is exactly the way you have been feeling about yourself, which is the reason why compassion is here, um, because you can feel so unseen, and this could be with work, love, with, you know, you have all of these be beautiful ideas and you're so gifted, um, but you may just feel like you're tucked away somewhere here with the caterpillar. Uh, but we see that change is coming. You also have a uh, tiger doing something risky, taking a chance. I feel like it's more so doing something, taking a chance that you feel is a risk, okay? Um, Truly, traveling overseas could be a risk at this point for some of you because you never got on a plane. You see what I'm saying? Um, for some of you, this is opening up your own business. This is um, even even getting into certain kinds of relationships. I am saying that you're going to take a chance on something that could feel very risky and you may feel uncomfortable about it. Okay. 
You also have um, a legal matter here, okay? This is involvement with the law. This could be court, uh, have something to do with a court. This could have something to do with a ticket, right? Um, it just depends because not everyone is going to experience this on the same level, but there is something dealing with legal in your reading. Is this straight? Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I'm, so like I said, I'm just going to leave that where it, where it is because that could be different for every last one of you, but that's what I'm saying. You have the last two here, younger woman and romance, celebration and party. Dealing with a younger woman, this could be your child, <laughs> children, this could be a sibling, okay? This could be someone that you're dealing with romantically, right? There's, could, there could be an age difference. Um, when it comes down to um, a romantic partner. And then you have romance, celebration, party. I actually feel like all of these are different. I feel like there's going to be romance in your life. I feel like you're going to be have a reason to celebrate. You're going to be invited to parties and, um, you know, uh, little events. Yeah, I see that. And that could be the reason why you're traveling too. Yeah. Looks good. Looks good. All right. Let's get your last set of oracles for Virgo. This looks good, Virgo. Virgo. Okay. One more. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, Cleo May, you have false fix and wishing. I think you've had false fix before. I think you have. But it says your hard work will pay off. Expect the promotion at work or start a great business partnership. Exactly. So that's what I was just saying that for some of you, um, that ending could be a new job or the ending of a certain type of job because now you're in a different position. Um, the risk that we talked about earlier could be you getting into a partnership romantically and business wise. OK, it could feel like a risk to you. Um, but it, it talked about the reason why this is being presented because you stand out among the rest. Okay, there's something different about you. There's something special about you, in particular, Virgo, that is gaining the favors of the of those who have the um, the authority to put you in certain rooms. Okay. Wishing says, whatever you've been wishing for, the universe is making them come true for you. What an amazing energy. Now, this is going to be different for everybody because not everyone is wishing for the same thing. So I'll leave it at that, right? Because it's just different for everyone. Cleo May, at the bottom of the deck, it says, when you start sacrificing yourself or giving too much of yourself to others, it's time to change the people that you are around. Do you feel like you're sacrificing yourself in relationships? Do you feel like at the job that you're at, you're doing so much and not being recognized? So you see the reason why transformation is needed, which is the reason why endings came out in your reading anyway. There definitely needs to be some type of transformational energy here um, because, you know, there there's not an even exchange. Even when you look at the gavel, that means that there is a lack of reciprocity. So the universe is changing that, okay? I also see, you know, you removing negative energy, negative people from your aura field as well. So I feel like there's about to be a clear time. Your channels are going to be clear. There's going to be a lot of just cleansing happening for you. Okay, Virgo, let's get into your tarot. This is for Virgo. Okay, I really only wanted one. <laughs> We're going to take it, but I really only wanted one. Hey, man, and the six of six of cups. First of all, one thing that I will tell you is that with the hangman, um, you see the you see that card with the caterpillar where it says that things won't be like this forever, right? Like it won't. So you're waiting for something. I don't really think that this is a delay. I feel like this is more so waiting for things to occur, waiting for things to happen, which I do see happening. Uh, but you know, sometimes you can be left suspended, you know, in suspense. 
uh, waiting for things to finally get better. Uh, you know, because a lot of you are aware that things are going to come, that, that change is going to come, that things are going to get better, but you're just kind of like in a suspense, in this waiting moment, waiting period for it to happen. Um, but I do, oh my gosh, but when I tell you, I really do see so much goodness here for you. This is a part of your blessings. This is a part of your new beginning. Pleasures that you're going to experience is going to be off the chain here. Okay, really. Six of Cups. There's been some very dark things that you've experienced in the past. And for a lot of you, it's still, this is why I talked about that cleansing, because for a lot of you, it is still hanging around you to some degree. Um, and, you know, dark darkness can come in many forms. I'm talking about what you've experienced when you were a child, right? Because the Six of Cups is like memories. It is like um, reminiscing sometimes too. But I do feel like there's things that may be coming up to your mind or things that are that you're thinking about that could feel very scary to you, okay? Money may be just completely so out of whack. You may be afraid that you may not have enough to pay for your your necessities. For some of you, even with the, the little boy sitting on the floor, you may have children that you have to feed and you're just worried about how you're going to be able to pay for everything because there have been money dangers um, from what this looks like, okay? Because again, you've been waiting for things to change. You've been waiting for certain things to occur. Um, so yeah, I do see. I do see it, okay? Um, but there is about to be a change here. For some of you, you need to get rid of someone that has been coming in and out of your life. This has been people. Uh, some of you are getting rid of codependent habits. You're changing the way that you eat. You're lessening your drinking. Um, certain types of habits that just in, just in general feels very um, ob like, a, like a toxic obsession. Okay. Habitual. Um, that is also what you're releasing and moving away from, okay? Let's keep going. This is for Virgo. Saturn is playing a huge role in your life right now. And it's basically saying, um, you know, it's trying to keep you in order. Okay. There needs to be some type of structure in your life. I don't know. I feel like some of you guys, maybe there's not enough organization. There's not enough structure. There's not enough discipline. And if you do not straighten up, you know, you can suffer from because of that. So just, just FYI, just FYI, just FYI. Okay. Because a lot of you, there's been a lot of restraints. I'm hearing you feel bound because when you look at the caterpillar, it's not free. It doesn't have its wings yet. So you can't lift up off the ground. So I feel like the thing is there needs to be more focus. There needs to be more um, structure and discipline in certain areas in your life. Okay, maybe you're spending too much. Maybe you're eating too much. Maybe you're drinking too much, sleeping too much. Um, very lackadaisical energy. You're not putting in effort in something. You see what I'm saying? So that's just something I'm just going to tell you. Just a little FYI, because I see it. There's people who are leaving. Or people who you are walking away from here with this Eight of Cups. You've been dealing with people who are, been, who are just, you know, they don't, have your, they don't have your best interest at heart. They really don't. Some of you are walking away from someone who has so much money. Oh my God, like you don't care. You're hurt so much. And see, this is why I feel like that sacrifice came out because you have sacrificed so much of your time and energy into someone. And let's say you're married, the money was the thing, the reason why you were there, but it's like, you're, you're not happy. You're not happy. And so I do feel like you're walking away from someone who is very inconsiderate of your feelings, your thoughts, and yeah, yeah, I see that. I see you walking away from people like that. Your money is going to get better. Um, I also, I actually see prosperity here in your reading, finally, coming out. 
this a new job, I feel. I think we've already mentioned that. Yeah, there it is, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. It could be a family inheritance. It could be from a corporation or something like that. Some of you guys are going to be getting contracts from um, some type of corporation here. Ace of Wands. Okay. I think you're going to be receiving some type of phone call for a new job or some or something, a new creative adventure. A new creative venture, I'll say. Um, that's what I see. This is going to be a good time for you too because I see that a lot of you are walking away or at least separating from someone that you could be in a relationship with. Um I don't, it's, it's like, I see a connection, but I see more so your work and career driven, more so work and career in this reading. Cause I see a lot of traveling. I see new positions, new jobs, new, um, just new ventures for you. And I, it's, it's, I'm not saying it's not giving room for a relationship. I feel like there's somebody around, but I don't feel it as much in this reading. I don't. Um, it looks like you were waiting for someone to change or waiting for someone to do something and they're not doing it. And it caused a lot of dissatisfaction in a relationship. So again, endings don't, doesn't always have to be forever, but I do feel like there's a disconnect totally. Okay. With a relationship, I do. Maybe the timing isn't right. But money is definitely going to increase. I love it. I love it. And I also feel like someone is going to give you a hand, like with something, it feels like uh, like someone gives you, you know how they say, give a dog a bone, <laughs> right? I feel like someone is just going to give, like, hand you, like, like give you something that's going to have, that's going to help you in some kind of way. This could be an idea, you know, like you've been trying to work on a program for a computer program, right? And someone says something, and it's like, oh my god, that's it, right? It's going to be something like that because I see you're very excited about something. I do. I see you very excited about it. And I also feel like you're excited with the fact that you're traveling and moving about. Things are starting to move for you. It's not delayed anymore. You're not stuck anymore. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But either way, this is what I have for you right now here, Virgo. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.